Hello everyone, today we're going to set up a Twitch integration with Unreal Engine so you'll be able to interact with the game through Twitch. There are some um, paid plugins to do this on the Unreal Marketplace that a lot of people use but uh, we're going to use a free version that I've modified. So in the description you'll find this GitHub page which is this is an updated version of the Twitch interaction from Zeppelin. Now, this is old. It's uh, two years out of date. But what I managed to do is download it, recompile it for 5.3, and now it works. So just click code and download zip. And then what we can do is we need to click the content drawer, right click a folder and click show in explorer and then find the root directory of your project go in go here and right click a new folder and call it plugins make sure it's spelled like this or it won't actually work in here we want to drag or extract the plugin. Now this is only going to install it into the actual project you're working with. To install it to the actual engine, you need to find where you've installed it. Now for me it's in here. And it's in engine and then it's in plugins and then you do the exact same. And that means no matter which project you use, as long as in 5.3, we'll be able to use this plugin and like just drag it in. So now we've done that, we need to actually restart the engine. So I'm just going to do that. So now the engine is restarted. If we go into the plugins, you'll see that we now have Twitch interaction. Now if this, if you've installed this to the engine, it won't actually be in project, it'll be in the built-in and then you can just search for Twitch and it'll be showing up and then you need to enable it. So in the content draw, click the settings and then go to plugin, show plugin content if you don't already have this. In the plugins, in the examples, we want to take both of these, so hold shift and click and drag them and copy here into the content. Next we want to open this Twitch chat sample. Let's drag it here. So before we configure this in any way, there is one change we need to make. Uh, this slot name, you need to copy the slot name. So control C. And then down here after these long set of set, you need to pull off here and do set game save uh, save game save game to slot. The slot name will be the one we've put in, and the save game object you need to drag all the way here and plug into this, and then save. Okay. So we are going to first add a new component which is going to be a pub sub in the construction drag off the twitch authentication and type event or set event connect that to the construction script and the event sub component will be pub sub so we can compile and save it so you need to click the Twitch authentication and copy this redirect URL. And in the video description, there'll be a link to a developer page for Twitch. So you need to log in with your Twitch account. And then once you're at this page, the, the, the developer console, on the right hand side here, you need to click register your application. Give your application a name that's relevant to your program. So I'm going to call mine YouTube Twitch. 
the all auth redirect URL needs to be the, the one we just copied. Game integration, I'm going to use that. And I'm not a robot and create. There we go. So if you have issues with it, you can try refreshing the page and doing it again, or actually logging out and logging back in because it, it's quite finicky. It might just be my connection because I've done this a few times. So click on manage and you want this client ID. You want to copy that and go back into the project. So click on Twitch authentication. Client ID will be that ID. The username is going to be the username of the person that is running the software. So if it's you yourself, this needs to be your Twitch. If you're giving this to somebody, they need to give you this information. You can create like a login page when you start the, the software to do all this. But for now, I'm just going to do it this way. So this is all ready. So what we can do now is if we save this and make sure like the save thing is done, load settings, correct name, the save settings, correct name. Okay. So now if we drag this into the world and press play, you'll get this window pop up, which will say project name wants to access your account. This is what it can do. We can ch change how much it can do later. So I'll click authorize. Attempt to grab token, token received. So now what we want to do is actually close and reopen it. So now we're connected to Twitch chat. And to show that, I'm going to load my Twitch page up, which is a shameless plug if you want to follow me. And as you can see here, um, if we type hello YouTube, it now shows up in here. So things like emotes. So let's use the croissant. Don't actually have an image. They just have the, the text. So now we have the very basic setup. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you a quick example of what you can do with this. So in the Twitch chat sample, there is a, a an already set up command to show you just an example, which is pat pat. So if we run this, like this, and I type in exclamation mark pat pat, you can see that it, it changes what it, it, it did. So let's create one like this. So the way this works is we need to, first of all, drag off from Twitch chat and type register command. And we can hook that up here like this. So we hook that up there. We don't need these. We need so the command name will be whatever comes after the exclamation mark. So if I want, for example, let's do ragdoll. Let's try that. So we pull off the callback function and we want a, oh, I think we can, re no, we can't reclick. We pull off create event. And then we can click here, this select function, and we can create a matching event. So to make this easier, I just had a thought. So what we will do is, from the event begin play, we will break. If, if you want to break a node, you can hold Alt. You can also hold Control, which will allow you to grab it, so you could move it to somebody somewhere else. Which is it, that one's really useful if you have, like, um, if you make another event for in, just an example. If you have a node that you want to swap out that has all these pins and you don't want to like click them off to forget where they go, you can just hold control and just swap like this. And it, it works on both ends. It's really useful for like swapping big chunks of these out instead of having to, like this for example, instead of having to click each one individually, you can just hold control and take the whole thing at once. 
So now we've got this event begin player. We want to pull off here and do cast to third person. Now if you're using the first person character, this will be first person. If you're using a custom character of your own, then you will cast to that or vehicles, anything for example. The object will be get player character. Uh, right. So as a third person character, right click, promote to variable and call this player ref. Let me just make that a bit easier. Player ref. So we have a reference to the player now. We can hook that back up. So what we can do now is we are going to actually change this command from ragdoll. Let's make a couple. We'll do we'll do jump and then we will do let's do speed. So we do register command. Connect that up to Twitch chat and we'll do speed. So we can add this, create event. Uh, matching event down here. So we can do this one we can call jump. And on this one, what we want to do is get our player ref. And then we can do a simple jump. Hook that in. And to get it to show what happened on screen, we can do a, a print string. And then I'll show you a trick. Type former text to get this. Hook it up so it converts. And in this, if you do curly bracket, that's not curly bracket, that's curly bracket, and type in, uh, say, name, and then another curly bracket to close it. Made you jump. So now we pressed enter. The Anything that was in this name, these curly brackets is now its own pin. So if we hook that into the, it will replace this with this variable. It, it's quite useful to have. So now we hook that up there like that and we can compile. And the next one we're gonna do speed increase. So from this, we want to get access to the character movement. So we can pull off a character character movement and then we want this bottom variable here and from here we do set max walk speed and then we can put in like a thousand then we can do a delay and then after two seconds we want to set max walk speed again and set it back to the default, which would be, where is it? 500. So now let's test this. So if we go to play, so we're connected to chat. If I load up my shameless plug of a Twitch chat again and do jump, we jump. So let me do it again. Uh, jump, if I enter, what call made you jump? So now we take speed. Now our movement speed goes up, but then it stops. So speed, super fast, and then the delay kicks in, and then we go back to normal. So jump. No, I didn't send the message. Jump. So there we go. Everything is ready to go. There is a few additional things to add on, which is if you want to actually package this project, there is a couple of things you need to do. Um, so the, the if you package this now, the plugin won't actually go with it. So to fix that, you need to come to tools, new C++ class, uh, next, create class, it can be it can be whatever it doesn't need to do anything so once that's been added you need to close this and in the folder for the twitch 
So what you need to do now is you need to open this and you'll get this popping up. Just click yes. And that's going to rebuild the project into a hybrid C++ and a blueprint project. Here we go. It does take a while to, to do that, like a minute or two it can take. Nothing has changed in the project. It's still the same. We can still connect to chat. We can still run around. All our blueprints are still here. It just means now that if we go to package the project, so I'll do it here. I'll just make it um, video package. And I select here. And then we allow this to package. So if we go here, so build successful. We can now come into here, into the packaged game. And if we run this, come to my other screen, which is always good. Uh, so here we go. And if I type commands in my Twitch chat, so jump. And then it was speed. So there we go. Now your package project is connected to Twitch. Just make sure that if you, for example, if you set this up, uh, these here, with, you have to set these up with someone else's username and the client ID if you want to give it to someone. But if it's just for you, you can do it yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm going to make some more videos on this. Just a few more ideas you can add to the game, like some AI that walks around and has um, players' names on and things like that. But I hope you've enjoyed. Any issues, just leave a comment. Oh yeah, thanks for watching.